Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet. Welcome back to another StarCraft 2 Daily Masters. We've got a very, very awesome game for you here today. It's going to be a PvZ on this nice big map with this beautiful little expansion off to the side. So let's get started. First off, our player up the top right hand side of the map is Mr. Classic. He is 23 years of age from South Korea, plays for the SK Telecom T1 team. And his opponent up at the top left side of the map, who's currently going for a fast third base, is Mr. Shine, 23 years of age from South Korea, plays for Samsung Galaxy. And Shine is actually, there's like two professional players called Shine. So it always gets me really confused when I try and look this guy up, because yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. Oh, those links just managing to get past the cannon. No zealot, no stalker, nothing to sort of chase him down, so they can just run around forever. Have a crack at some workers if they want, because nobody is going to chase them anytime soon. Of course, the probes can defend themselves, so that's a bit of a pain in the ass, but this probe is by itself, and it's going to have a bit of trouble defending itself. There it goes, running the hell out of there. Very, very, very nice stuff, and I was going to say something, but I forgot. Yes, this is what we're going to be talking about. So, yes, I'm currently going through the GSL Season 3, actually. I got asked to do a game by SOS, and I did that, and it turned out it was in... The GSL from South Korea, um, Group A for the round of 32. And a coincidence like that is just crazy because with uh, Season 2, I went through and I did one game for every player from the round of 32 from all three regions, so America, Europe, and South Korea. So I reckon since I managed to get into uh, Group A, um, just do it again. Let's just do it again. So these are the other two players in SOS and Efforts bracket. It is Mr. Shine and Mr. Classic. And I think I'm just going to go through again. Go through uh, South Korea, America, Europe. Just go through all the players in the round of 32. Because I had a lot of fun doing it last time. And we learnt about a lot of new players which I've never cast before. And we got to see them do some very, very awesome stuff. And of course, I have got the replays as well for the WCS Global Finals. So you can definitely expect to see some of those games as well sometime in the future. I'll probably weave them in and out all over the place while I'm doing the round of 32 Premier League games for everybody. I don't actually think I got Challenger League, at least not for GSL. They didn't get the replays out. I've only got the Premier League one, so yeah, I'll have to see. Mm. Uh, I'm sitting here again and I don't have a drink. I had a drink. I didn't have a drink last night and my voice kind of got screwed over. So it's kind of, you know what? We're going to just do follow mode on this Oracle and I am going to go get a drink and you guys watch all the pretty action, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Just watch that Oracle. Hopefully it doesn't die or anything. Apologies for that, but it did, does look like this Oracle did see some action and oh man Look at what we miss out on when we're uh, getting our drink my water filter takes so friggin long to get anything going So it does take ages, but because the good stuff looks like classic is gearing up to get some major stuff out But he hasn't got it out yet. He's chrono boosting out some stuff, which is good But he doesn't have nearly enough to deal with all these roaches a ton of roaches coming out a ton of lings all that sort of stuff The Oracle is going nuts We'll have to see exactly what we can do. Some force fields doing a pretty nice job, but still the roach is going in here. And this third base looking like it might be in trouble. But for now, it's holding off pretty well. Nexus Overcharge is going well, but it's not doing much of a dent into the roach numbers. Roaches, of course, do not take that much damage from Nexus Overcharge, but they do take quite a bit of damage 
from the Void Rays, and this Void Ray is on a mission to kill roaches. And beautiful, beautiful stuff. So Classic managing to hold on, managing to save his third base, which is going to be very, very important coming up because it allows him to keep that, um, that pretty decent macro situation he's in. 63, um, over 66. And of course, you can only mine a maximum of 30 on one base. So if he had lost that, then it would have been at least three or four workers that would have been just absolutely doing nothing, which of course is a bad situation. So yeah, very, very nice stuff holding it in. But of course, this Nexus is going to be very, very close to being killed for the next couple of minutes. It's going to regen its shields, and that's going to give it half. You know, it's going to do a... Yeah, it's going to be okay, but still... Not the best situation to be in. And Shide, meanwhile, looks like he's going for a whole bunch of different crazy crap. He's got the Muters. He's got a Hydra then coming out. The Muters, obviously, going to be countering the Void Rays. Um, it's, yeah, I think that's what they could be doing. And, yeah, the Hydra is just for a bit of fun, you know, just to deal with these guys all over the place. Obviously, when he goes for a decent amount of Muters, then Classic is going to push up the Stalker numbers. And maybe get blink if he hasn't already which he does so yes here we go the mute is going to be going in going to see how many workers they can roast they're probably going to roast a few here at least oh look at all those stalkers come in but the mute just goes straight by them over to the next base nice blink going out but they just move straight onto the main base not going to kill well they, they killed a decent amount of workers they you know they did their fair share of damage 11 going down so far and, oh, they'd love to snipe a Void Ray, but the Stork is getting a little bit too close for comfort. And the Muter's finally getting out of there. Meanwhile, I've got a nice offensive coming down from Classic over here. He's facing a decent amount of roaches. He doesn't have any real anti-roach tech, but of course the Stalkers should be able to do a decent amount. And level 2 on the verge of coming out. This could be very big, but still the roaches eventually did get past the force fields. And it did force Classic to get the hell out of there. So, some great engagements coming up and Classic Man, if he had left that attack just a little bit longer on the Stalkers, maybe he could have gone in with uh, level two weapons instead and done a little bit more damage, maybe enough to not have to retreat. But regardless, let's have a look here. Eight meters haven't gone down, 17 workers. So, he killed a lot of workers, but I don't know if it was worth it to lose eight meters. I really, really don't because, yeah, that's quite a lot of muters and you gotta remember 100 gas each so you want to kill like 10 12 workers and then get out of there and regen and then do it again and again and again if you go in and you kill like 15 16 workers and then all your muters die i don't know if that's worth it i really don't but yeah we do have hydras out shine pushing out the hydras nice and hard is actually not that far ahead of classic classic has been pushing out workers like a crazy bastard obviously to make up for those ones he just lost and yeah shine's still in a good position though and he's just gonna wait for the perfect position oh what are these roaches doing they're gonna snipe this pollen but they are way too close to those stalkers and yeah absolutely getting roasted level three weapons are on the way and the roaches continue to get owned and once level three weapons hit is going to be crazy. I mean, you've got Hydras, but by the time level 3 weapons hit, Classic should have the Colossus tech. He should be moving out there with a couple of Colossus. He's got none at the moment, but he will have one, and he'll probably have a second one by the time his level 3 weapons hit. And yeah, here we go. But these guys, it's quite a lot of Stalkers. They do have level 2 attack already. I think that's it. And yeah, so they are quite decent. So even with Hydras, I'm not sure that Shine can really hold off just against those Stalkers. It's, uh, it's a very, very interesting sort of mix. And the Stalkers, when they got the weapons upgrades, when they're in a large party, they really, really do do a lot of damage. And even against their natural counter, which the Hydras are, they can actually get a victory out there. There's no doubt about it at all. And now with the first Colossus coming out, level 3 just about to hit, second Colossus... Coming out. No, there's already the second one is out there. The third one just being built. Classic starting to look very, very good. Shine has maxed out, but he's maxed out on Roach Hydra. And the Roaches are going to take so much damage from the Stalkers. The Stalkers are just going to really, really chew through the Roaches now. They've got level 3. 
And the Hydras have got their work cut out for him. He really needs something to deal with the Colossus, first of all. The Colossus have got to be taken out, so you need Viper or Corruptor. I don't think we've seen either of those. So that's going to be very, very tough. War Prism coming out. Not much going to happen here. It looks like, no, one of the Hydras actually got taken out pretty quickly. The Oracle goes down as well, but now the two Zealots mopping things up. And Hydras are... Dude, they do not last very well once somebody is attacking them in melee range. So, yes, they are finally going to go down there with the help of two Queens. Small group coming in here. Not doing too much, but distracting to maybe get the flank in here. Shine moves, but a couple of storms send him running. He was not, obviously not expecting the storms. And he's, didn't, he's not even dealing with the Colossus. Which I assume he must know about the Colossus by now. Maybe he didn't. He is going for a ton of muters at the moment. And yeah, there we go. So Classic just doing a phenomenal, phenomenal job in this game. And Shine really sort of struggling to keep up with everything that Classic is doing. I mean... Shine, his macro is really good, but in terms of unit choice, in terms of tech and all that sort of stuff, Shine really not getting it together. And Classic just going for the straight up standard PVZ options. You get the Colossus, you get the Storms to deal with the Hydras, all that sort of stuff, and it's just working beautifully. It's just fantastic. It's straight up standard play, but he's just doing it so well, and Shine just hasn't got that edge. It hasn't got that little bit of extra oomph that you actually need to take out a player like Classic when he's in this position. He's trying to get for a base race, it's not going to happen. The main army warps back after killing some choice buildings and yeah, they're just going to start owning stuff. There we go, beautiful storms going down and Shine knows that he is defeated. So that's it, thank you very much for watching this game. I do hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you guys tomorrow with another one. Stay tuned.